I'm going to use this little one and a half pound kayak anchor for this demonstration. We've got some small rope, one and a half pound anchor at the tie point on the bottom of the anchor. You're going to bring your rope over the top through your tying point. Pull you enough through that you can make a second loop and tie your knot. Go again through your tie point on the left hand side of the main line. Now, I stick my finger in here to hold my loop. You can take the tail piece, come across the top of your main line right here, go under the two pieces of rope that are forming the loop, and pull it through. Pull both ends, and that will tighten up the anchor knot on your tie point here. Then take your remaining uh, tailpiece here, go over the top again and through, making a half hitch, pull that tight, and then there you go. That's all there is to the tying portion. And you can take this tailpiece, bring it up here, secure it with a, with a zip tie or some heat shrink. Now if you're using heat shrink, obviously you're going to put that on the rope before you tie your knots in it. I'm not so worried about that little tail piece on the anchor. Very secure. Now you're asking, why did you tie it to the bottom of the anchor? Well, there's a very good reason for that. It's tied to the bottom of the anchor so the anchor can be saved if it gets caught underneath something where you're not able to pull it up. And I'm going to show you how that works. I'm going to take this part of the rope now, since this comes straight off in line with one of my anchor um, parts there, I'm going to slide the rope over just a little bit so it'll come up kind of to the side. I'm going to bring it up the side of the anchor to your top tying point. And I'm going to take a small wire tie or zip tie and slide it through. And then I'm going to pull that down tight, very tight. So now, you see my rope is pulling from this end. I'm going to go ahead and cut that zip tie off. Get a little piece off of there. And now that's properly tied anchor. If you're using a bigger anchor and larger rope, obviously you use a bigger zip tie up here. But this is a one and a half pound kayak anchor and uh, very small rope. So I'm going to show you how this works and why this part is important. I'm going to try to find something to lodge this anchor under to simulate it getting stuck in the water in rocks or timber. Okay, and here is the reason for using the zip tie at the top to secure your rope. You're dragging your anchor on the bottom and it finds a root or a big rock or a limb, whatever. You're anchored very well. You can't be pulled around by the wind or current. But then when it comes time to get your anchor back, here's what happens. You're trying to pull it up and nothing. So you go back the other way, and you pull, and nothing. If you were tied to this point, you stand a great chance of losing your anchor. Maybe just having to cut the rope and leaving your anchor on the bottom. But with tying it with the zip tie, you're trying to pull it, nothing's happening. So we go back the other way in the boat and we pull on our anchor eventually that zip tie will break and your anchor will just pop loose and that's it as soon as the wire tie zip tie breaks free 
your anchor pulls from the bottom and will snatch it right out from underneath whatever obstacle it is caught on under the water. And that happened pretty fast. So I'll kind of demonstrate it by hand. So it's back under there. Your zip ties here. When it breaks, so you're now pulling from down here. So instead of trying to pull up like this, it's pulling from here, which just pulls it straight out from underneath your obstacle. Carry a couple of extra zip ties with you. You can get your anchor stuck all day. Thanks for watching this video. Hope you found it informative and helpful. Have fun on the water.